Hello Pisces! Thank you so very much for tuning in. You guys came in second as the most viewed video for the second half of October. So what that means here is that you get a bonus reading. I don't have a particular group of questions that I'm going to keep in mind for this reading. I'm just going to allow the cards to bring forward whatever needs to come through. However, I was gravitating towards particular decks and this is one of them. So this one is by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot, the Twin Flame Reality Check deck. You of course don't have to identify with a Twin Flame connection, that's just the name of the deck. So let's go ahead and begin. It is general as always, so please keep that in mind throughout this reading. Take whatever you're most gravitated towards and release what doesn't make sense for you. So Pisces, here we go. Reality check of what's going on in your life, your partnerships, relationships, whether you are single, whether you are in a connection, whether you are in separation. Let's see what's coming through here. For Pisces, please, for your bonus reading, live, love, or live, laugh, and love. One of my favorite mantras. Okay, so that could be your favorite mantra as well, Pisces. You know, it's very important for you to live your best life. It's very important for you to perhaps not take things too seriously sometimes. And of course, we all want to be able to find that one person that we can share our life with, our ideal mate, to be able to love that person and have them love us back. So let's see what else we need to know here. We've got good to go, okay? I'm kind of getting for some of my Pisces viewers here that you're just kind of in between relationships. I'm getting that for some of you guys. And I kind of feel you're just going with the flow of where life is wanting to take you, that you've learned from past partnerships that really didn't work out for you. And maybe you're just in a better position to be able to work on yourself right now. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know what it is that you want. You know what it is that you are not going to go for in a partnership. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's add to that. For Pisces, please. And then, of course, for some of you, maybe your relationships, life overall, it's going well. And as it says, you're you're good to go. You know, everything's just great right now. There is no I in teamwork. That's very true. In a partnership, it takes two people being able to put in the necessary work in a partnership. It doesn't just fall on your shoulders, Pisces, to be able to you know, make your person happy and to put in all the effort. It takes two people. Okay, let's grab one more card here and then we'll clarify with some tarot here. Recording, spying. Okay, so take that if it applies. Maybe you know that somebody's keeping tabs on you. This could be as well what you're focused on. You know, maybe you're keeping tabs, keeping an eye on somebody. It could be on social media, of course. I'm also getting for some of you guys that just the whole recording reference, maybe you have old videos that you look through, just past memories that you and your person have shared. If you're not doing that, maybe that's something that they're doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and add to this with some tarot. I'm going to start with my tarot teacher deck here. So let's see what else we can grab for your bonus reading here. So this is coming through for some of you that you're not together because if they're spying on you and you guys didn't work together on the relationship, that might have ultimately created some challenges in the partnership and you guys broke up. But since you're good to go right now, Pisces, I feel you're, again, just going with the flow of whatever life is presenting to you. You're just trying your best to live your best life is what I'm getting whether you're in a relationship or not. Look at this. I love this. We've got the magician coming in. Yeah, I get that for you, that you're trying to manifest your ideal person to come to you. You know, it does represent a very positive outcome here. You might ultimately meet a soulmate if you're single. Okay. There's this need to take action in your life, but I, I am picking up for some of my Pisces viewers. Part of that action is just working on you and living your life the best way you can right now. 
This can also indicate a rekindled partnership, however, restoring the romance. Okay, and hopefully, if someone's keeping tabs on you, spying on you from a distance, and they recognize that they didn't put in as much work as they needed to, they didn't fully invest in the partnership, they know that they're going to have to take some sort of action here to make that happen. Because there's the possibility of coming back together, but there are also risks involved in taking those actions because, you know, you just can't guarantee a reconciliation here. But if it really means that much to you, if it really means that much to the person that you're focused on, maybe this is something that you can work on together and be able to meet in the middle. And that's where that teamwork is. Let's see. Let's see what else. Look at that, guys. We've got the Lover's card. Some of you guys might be dealing with Gemini specifically. I believe the Magician is Gemini and Virgo, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this person here, even though you guys might not be together, I, I, I'm kind of getting they still love you. They might not be telling you these things because they're spying on you. They're more comfortable just keeping their distance, I feel. But they're still attracted to you and maybe they're curious. This could be an ex. Maybe they're just curious, you know, have you moved on to somebody else? Are you single? And I do feel for some of you guys, you are single. But again, you're, you're just fine with where life is at right now. Not to say that you don't want to be in a relationship. I feel you do. But you're also okay with not being in a partnership right now because you're preparing yourself for the right person, basically. You want, you're ready for something really life-changing here in your life when it comes to your partnerships. This could also be part of the reason why there was no teamwork because the Five of Wands, it's a lot of tension in the partnership. You guys were at odds with one another you know, this could also be rivalry in love. So there could have been love rivals here, other people who were a part of this whole situation and it could have gotten really messy. It could have been either third parties or somebody moved on to another relationship. Maybe you guys had a painful, unexpected breakup here. But I'm also getting Pisces. If somebody broke up with you to explore another relationship after they broke up with you, I'm getting here they might regret it. Because if they were happy at this point in time, there would be no need for them to be keeping tabs on you because they would have moved on. I'm just getting for this person that you're thinking about or someone who's thinking of you, of course, that they haven't really fully moved on from you. They're still thinking about you. They're they're spying they're stalking you somehow. Maybe they're stalking your social media pages here. Justice. I'm getting for some of you, if your person did you wrong, you know, if they, for example, if they cheated on you, if they backstabbed you or betrayed you somehow, it doesn't have to be cheating. It doesn't have to be infidelities. It's however way they ended up hurting you or disappointing you. I feel during this time apart, they had really, they had to face the truth of the matter. Maybe they were trying to ignore their role and ultimately why things unfolded the way that it did. So I'm getting from your person because the justice card can represent clarity that they've finally had. It's like that epiphany. It's like, oh, okay, I screwed up or I did this and that's why A, B or C happened. And there's this need to restore balance in the partnership that is coming through very clearly here. Now, take this if it applies, because the justice card could also be legal issues, legal matters. Okay, so for those of you that might have been married and decided to get a divorce or get a legal separation, something legal that's tied into this energy so if that's something that applies, if you guys are in separation and 
you're officially broken up legally, that person is still spying on you. They're still keeping tabs. I don't know if they regret the breakup, if they regret the divorce or the separation or whatever the heck happened here. They've, they haven't moved on. That's just the energy that I'm getting here, that they are still watching you somehow. Look at this. We've got the Six of Pentacles. This is equality. That was not happening before. You know, if there is no I in teamwork, there was no equality either. Because this is about equal give and take. This is about two people who are equally reciprocating the love, the affection, whatever it was you were giving, they were taking, but possibly not giving as much back or not giving at all. So it was out of balance, which is why there's this need to restore balance with that justice card. Some of you guys could also be dealing with a Libra here specifically. So we've got air signs coming through. We have earth as well as fire coming through. You could have any of those combination of signs in your chart too. Page of Pentacles right here. So I'm feeling for my masculines. You've got a lot of plans that you really want to manifest here moving forward in your life, whether that's financially, whether that's creating a foundation in your career, your life, your relationships, your relationship with family, your friendships, associates, however way that's coming through. You are creating something really valuable for yourself, certainly financially, but these desires, whatever it is, you're not going to give up until you achieve it. That's what I'm feeling for you. For the masculine, I get that. But, you know, if you happen to be feminine, you res resonate with that, then of course that could be something you're tapped into as well. But, you know, for those of you in separation, this person wants a beginning, a new beginning. Nine of Pentacles. So Pentacles coming through, and I, I can't help but feel related to your money matters, your career, your livelihood, your job, whatever it is that is a source of income for you, Pisces. You're doing pretty good, you know, because this is somebody who's self-sufficient, financially independent, very successful in that way. So that's actually really good. And if you've been really excelling in your career, your job. This could also be a promotion, a reward that you receive, or just people that are well aware of your achievements here. So you're able to bring in this abundance and manifest so much by way of finances, improved money matters. So that's really good. But in the world of love and romance, this is somebody who is single, solo, independent, and being okay with that. And I can't help but feel that that's you. That's a part of your energy right now. Take this if it applies. You know, that Three of Swords is heartbreak right there. You know, feeling lonely over the separation, sorrow, grief, love triangle, third parties. Take that if it applies. And I'm getting here. If you experience that in your relationships, you're good. You know, you're, you're fine on your own. You're okay and content being single until the right one comes along because you're not going to put up with that. Not going to put up with that. Now for a select few, okay, we do have the moon coming through. Now Pisces, this is your own energy. And this can sometimes be things that are hidden, deceptive energies, secrets, lies, affairs, so if the tables are actually turned, if the interpretation of these messages is that you were deceptive towards someone and it's you that's keeping tabs on somebody that you used to be with, they're the one that's coming through letting you know it's like, eh, I'm good. You know, I'm actually good with where we're at right now. You know, we didn't work together as a team before and they're trying to manifest someone else if they haven't already moved on to another connection. So take that if and only if it applies to you. And then we've got the Nine of Swords right here. So this is insomnia, nightmares, night terrors, feeling hopeless. 
that could be your person here especially it's it basically falls on who has the most regrets here the person that regrets the breakup the person that regrets getting mixed up in love triangles and doing things that compromise the integrity of the relationship that's the person who's in that nine of swords so it could be you pisces if you relate to that but i feel it more so for the person that you're thinking about they're not getting a whole lot of sleep that's why they're using up some of that time keeping tabs on you you know that's what i'm getting from that all right so let's grab some additional insight i'm guided to pull from the arrows of love oracle by mystic moon here let's see what else so yeah if you're single you're okay with that you're just working on you healing your heart focusing perhaps on your career your friendships your family and you know i i just kind of get for some of you that you're holding more of a positive vibe around yourself and within yourself so that you can attract that ideal person and actually you can attract so much more than just love you know you're in a pretty good spot i feel so let's take a look let's dig a little bit deeper into your love life here for your bonus reading angels and spirit guides please for pisces what else what else do we need to know violets are blue loyalty that is what you are requiring from your partnerships and if somebody wasn't loyal to you because we did see that there was a love triangle for some of you guys or somebody that you just ended up not being able to trust this is what you are wanting and you're not going to settle for anything less than that you know we do have gamble and there is that reference to taking a risk and when we've been hurt when our heart has been broken it's difficult you know to get back into the dating scene and to prepare yourself for either getting hurt again or finally being able to find the right one so it it is a bit of a risk that's involved in that putting yourself out there causing you to feel very vulnerable but i really do see here and feel here pisces that you're going to be okay you're going to be okay we do have the love and lace innocence the the love the lace part for me reminds me of like a wedding dress you know and of course the whole reference to white could be that purity and innocence that's tied into that energy so i feel when you're ready to take a gamble on love again if you're in between relationships that this is where the universe might be taking you you know that direction you had to endure heartbreak and disappointments along the way but i feel the end goal and certainly the the destination that you're headed is a very good one okay so it makes sense from for me for you pisces that right now for some of you guys love is up in the air you know you don't quite know what's coming in for you who's going to be your next partner or your life partner but what it is that you're looking for is long-term commitment to perhaps get married someday for those of you that were already married perhaps you're still holding on to the hope that you can still find that ideal mate and maybe find happiness again by way of marriage or even starting a family we have anticipation okay so there could be for some of you if there's already somebody that you're attracted to this could be an indication of the direction that you want to go certainly the physical connection with that person and you're just anticipating ultimately when can things move to the next level with that individual you know and then we've got the real deal right here look at that energy right there okay so i can't help but feel that for some of you guys either you're single looking for the real deal or you're in a relationship possibly a new one and really anticipating taking things to the next level here yeah you're looking for that okay so let's go ahead and add to this i'm guided to pull from 
my modern day Sears Tarot and Oracle. If you're not familiar with this one, this is my deck that I created for advanced beginners who are interested in wanting to learn how to read tarot. So the majority of the cards, it's got upright and reversed interpretations. And the twist here is that it's got new Oracle messages as well as new court cards, in addition to, of course, all of the traditional tarot messages already. So let's, let's see, let's grab some tarot here. So in order to find that ideal mate, you're going to have to take a gamble on love once again, but I do feel your final destination in this lifetime anyway, is to be able to find your ideal person. We have the pink rose. Okay, that's beautiful. That could be someone's favorite flower. And it does say it is falling in the upright, young love, innocent love, admiration, elegance, joy, gentleness, appreciation, and femininity. So it's representing the divine feminine in the upright. Isn't it interesting how we've got love and lace and innocence right there, and we've got innocent love right here. So there's something tied into that, and the color pink might be significant for some of you. This could be somebody that you have known for a very long time, maybe when you guys were younger, you could have grown up together, you could have met this person in school, you know, and it might ultimately bring you guys back together somehow. This might even be a friend that you grew up with. Maybe you didn't even see them as a love prospect. And now that you guys are adults, you might see them in a very different way or they see you in a very different way. Okay, so we've got the moon popping up again. This is your own Pisces energy. Okay, so you don't want to get yourself wrapped up into these illusions you want to be able to definitely face the truth of what's in front of you and the people that are coming into your life you know it's okay to be fantasizing about manifesting who it is that you want to be with but you don't you also don't want to lie to yourself about situations that you might get yourself in because you've already been there you've already been hurt i feel you've already experienced disappointments in prior love connections and you're not wanting more of that you know so you just want to make sure you're you're definitely trusting your gut and intuition with future love connections. Love it. Ace of Cups. Okay, so the love, the deep connection that you might ultimately find through new connections, new relationships, this can represent a new beginning. It's interesting, guys, how the Ace of Cups could also be tapped into conception and fertility. And look at that image right there. Okay, so I can't help but feel for those of you who are single right now, and unattached, not married, no children, no family, that these are all things that can manifest for you later on down the line. So it looks pretty good. Now, for those of you who, of course, have experienced more in love and romance, I feel that things will ultimately get better for you in those partnerships. And then we have the star card right here. Okay, so some of you guys might ultimately connect with an Aquarian, or that's the person that you're thinking about now. Okay, so if you guys are having issues, this is a card of hope that things can still turn around, giving you guys perhaps another opportunity to revisit the relationship. It is a card of rejuvenation, okay, rejuvenating the partnership and a fulfilled wish as well. Now, for some of you guys, that fulfilled wish will be with somebody new and for others, it might reconnect you with somebody that you have lost touch with. Okay, this is also a card of self care. So, you know, that's something that you need to dedicate part of your time and energy in as well, Pisces, you know, to be able to put you first, especially if you've experienced partnerships where you were secondary, or they just didn't, you know, put in the effort, because clearly, we've seen that in past connections, teamwork was not there, equality was not there. And those are things that you're looking for in addition to loyalty in the partnership where there's not going to be any trust issues and drama and third parties and all of that, you know. So I feel moving forward, this is giving you an illuminated path to follow where you can find that happiness that you're looking for. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and wrap this up here. Let's see, what am I guided towards here? I'm going to pull from the Universal Heart Oracle deck. This is by Angelic Revelation 144. All right, so let's grab maybe a card or two from here just to give you some advice for this 
bonus reading, whether it's related to what came through already or not. Let's take a look at that. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Pisces for this bonus reading. What's the advice from spirit? What's the advice? Another pink rose, guys. I love this. Okay, so it says, Spirit wants you to know that there is an incredible surprise coming your way shortly. This surprise leads to a favorable time in love and life. Remember to take time out from your hectic schedule periodically to reset your energy. This will ensure that you are rested and rejuvenated and can cope with the demands of life. I love this. Okay, and bottom of the deck, we've got... Your angels are working together to bring excitement to your social life. Many new fresh connections will add a fresh dimension to your personal life. Your spirit will feel rejuvenated as you embrace fun social invitations and nights out. It is a time of indulgence and exploration, and you can welcome a sense of abundance which flows into your life. I absolutely love these messages, guys, because it applies not only to your social life, your romantic life, but, you know, I did pick up off of a lot of references to pentacles and money matters and finances, all of this abundance that's coming your way. So welcome it all in, Pisces. You absolutely deserve it. And that is where I'm going to leave this one. I do hope that the messages here were something that you were able to resonate with, whatever part of it did. If you are interested in your own reading, that information is down below. And don't forget to go ahead and submit your entry for my free reading giveaway. If you're interested in that, the info will be down below in the description box as well as on the community tab of my channel. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.